What up peeps, it's good to be with you again. It's Richard Ng here and today we're going to be taking a look at an atomizer which is an RDTA that combines the functionalities of a dripper, a tank and also Genesis dollar wicking. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the Fodi RDTA by Hitch Cigar. Alright, so to begin with, the Fodi RDTA here in my hands was actually sent to me by Hitch Cigar for the purpose of this review. Thanks very much. Uh, also, shout out to Martin as well for sending it my way. This must be pretty popular in Malaysia because I see a lot of advertisement on uh, you know uh, Facebook pages by brick and mortar shops here in Malaysia, and it's retailing somewhere between probably 120, 130 ringgit. All right, uh, they have it in stainless steel polished and also in black as well, both selling at the same price. And the drip tip comes in various different colors, but uh, it's at random. You don't get to choose what color you want. It comes in the box until you purchase it, open up the box, and then you see what color you've got, okay? <laughs> this is a 22 millimeter diameter device, made of stainless steel 316. So it's pretty good, uh, you know, quality stainless steel. If you have the uh, latest Haze dripper, you'd see straight off that this has a lot of similarities to it, okay? The build deck is actually built on top of the tank. You know, this is to prevent juice from heating up and to avoid, you know, uh, what are called juice discoloration and also flavor changes, okay? Because when you have, you know, all the build deck and everything within the tank, then, you know, because of heat, your uh, color of your juice might change and the flavor as well. So this sits on top, so it won't affect it. The wick goes down into the tank very much like a Genesis uh, style kind of wicking where you have to tilt it and saturate your cotton every time you want to vape, all right, so that. Finally, the deck layout is like a dripper. Two coils seated on top and, you know, so that you get awesome flavor. And you have the option of, you know, doing a single build if you want to with the uh, single coil adapter that's provided in there. Tell you what, let's go ahead and get into the close-ups. Let's check it out up close and then come back. We'll vape on it, check out the pros and cons. I'll tell you where to get one, especially for Malaysians, how much it costs and all that. And then we'll wrap it up, all right? So catch you in a while. All right, time for us to take a look at the Fodi RDTA. Time to unpack it as well. This is the box that it comes in white sleeve there and it's got a little white sticker for whatever reason but the one in there the device it's stainless steel polished much like what you see here in the picture and it says Fodi nothing else and push the sleeve take it off and you have this brown recyclable cardboard box which is nice with face you got to think of the environment be uh, you know environmental friendly and here you have their phone number some certification logos their website as well that's about it and lift of the cover you have a little instruction card inside and of course you have Fodi all the parts that makes up the tank behind you have a method of use you know dual coil or single coil how you actually push your cotton into the holes there and also you know this is a little single coil adapter for you if you're thinking of doing single coil builds e-liquid filling method which will come to there's a little hole at the side here for you to fill up your e-liquid and uh, how you can detach the oil chamber basically the whole entire unit you want to you know remove it to, for cleaning purposes and you just have to take off this center shaft pin which is kind of uh, a little bit troublesome if you ask me so anyway uh, this is the instruction card we'll come to it shortly um, on all the parts that we have on the device itself so let's take the device out and that's my device there with my little purple so I've got a purple uh, you know ceramic uh, drip tip here I think it's made of ceramic if I'm not mistaken or some kind of delrin probably which is nice um, looks rather nice and classy the tank polish finish and underneath here you got your bag of spares here with a spare tank, a glass tank, your Pyrex glass tank, which is a spare here, some cotton in here as well, as you can see, this is Japanese cotton. In there, you've got lots of ceramic parts here for your positive, you know, post here, and different color, what do you call, tank bands. You've got black here that comes with the tank and blue, red, if you want to opt to change it. And there's a little plug here for your juice hole in case you drop and lose your, you know, the juice hole plug, you can actually re replace it with this one and some uh, what do you call flip head screws, O-rings and things like that. So that's the bag of spares that you've got there. Let's check out the device right now. It's got these engravings at the side here that says Fodi. Very well done, uh, the engraving. 
you know it's like you see it but you don't see it as well you know from afar you don't actually see you know what it says but you know there's some kind of uh, engraving there and it says foldy and at the bottom there there's some uh, engravings there which I can't see you know from where I am so anyway they've got a purple drip tip they've got blue black red and all sorts of different colors as well and they sell this as an accessory so you can buy extra drip tips if you want to foldy drip tips and it's got a single o-ring to hold it nice and snug and in there that's the top there it's got a tiny hole in there and the sides probably got you know these uh, openings at the side here so like this is to prevent spit back and also to give you a very good flavor as well so that's how the top looks like we'll get to the insides afterwards so let's push the drip tip back and you've got two air holes here cyclops style air hole one on each side sorry I just accidentally pushed this out of place and you've got one here and you have the option just hold the uh, what you call tank band and change the uh, air holes left to right so you've opened up this one which means this one is closed and this is for your single coil build so if you want to have dual coil build just slide it back to this cyclops style air hole and both sides are open here and here all right so this is for your dual build and this is for your single coil build and there you have your glass tank here at the bottom you have your 510 pin here which is a very long one so if you want to remove the tank actually you've got to remove this entire uh, pin here so which will come to shortly all right just taking a look all around it's got a nice uh, polished finish so it makes it look very elegant actually on a uh, mod or you know box mod or mechanical mod first you you can actually take off the drip tip we'll put it aside first and also Take up the top cap here, your top cap inside is like that, as you can see, you know, they've got this, your air goes around here and out from this little hole here as well. So it comes up from the side and from the center here. The side here is also open. Okay, it's not adjustable, I don't think it's adjustable. It's probably pressed fit into it. Oh, sorry, it's, you can open it. As you can see, there's an O-ring there. Sorry about that. I thought it was just press fit inside. All right, but still, this is one piece now. Okay, so that's your top cap there. And that's your single coil adapter in black here. So if you want to do a dual coil, just remove this. And you have two holes here, two holes on each side. Air goes in from here. There's another air hole here from the side and up from underneath your coil so you've got four holes where your wick goes into if you want to do a single coil just take this adapter close up this push it in plug it up and have a single coil here and at the side here I'm going to take this out and put it aside first you have your little juice hole plug which is rather small just be very careful you don't drop it on the floor otherwise it's going to be gone you won't be able to find it and you have your juice hole but even despite without that uh, I don't think the juice is gonna flow out from there it's a small hole there you can just put in your juice bottle with a uh, what I call needle nose juice bottle or you can use a syringe if you'd like to all right so at the side you've got two o-rings here to hold hold on to the cap and I noticed uh, I, I tested this for for a bit and I noticed with this inside and once you've got condensation juice condensation this sort of like becomes loose now it's nice and snug but it can become loose and if you find that you want to change the o-ring maybe change to a slightly thicker o-ring and then it'll hold better if you have a problem with it okay to remove this for cleaning purposes right now you can't remove it and what you've got to do is actually unscrew this 510 pin here And you have the top portion coming off. This is a ceramic positive, you know, insulator here. Not a ceramic. That's your positive post. So that's the only way to take out your whole entire tank. Unscrew the top portion because the uh, center shaft is actually threaded right here. So you got to unscrew it. Don't try to pull it. And that's the only way to remove the tank, replace it. Oh, you when you want to do you know cleaning up 
So that's how it looks like, threaded here, and that's your center shaft there. And to put it back, all you have to do is just get the uh, Pyrex tank, push it back into the O-ring, this portion, screw it in. Once you've got that screwed down, now you want to take your positive pin insulator and put this edge down, facing down. And this one inside. All right. So once you've got the uh, ceramic, um, what I call positive insulator down, be very careful you don't crack it because it's uh, made of ceramic. You know, it's breakable, and you have this little piece here, you notice there's a screw hole here so this sits right on top where your positive pin is going to screw into and get your positive pin which is gold plated push it in and just screw it in first once it's screwed in just get your screwdriver alright that should do it all right, so right now I'm gonna try and build myself a dual coil instead of a single coil. So I won't be needing the single coil adapter. I'm gonna just pull this off. I'm gonna put it aside. Okay, so this looks like uh, you could even fit in 24 gauge wire with the size of the post holes. But I'm gonna be using 26 gauge. So my Phillips uh, screwdriver. Open it up and uh, just let you have a look at the uh, post holes right now. That's how big it is. Okay. And I've got my two coils here. I'm just gonna put them into my screwdriver and push them in one at a time. So just push it in right now. And let it sit right above, you know, the uh, air hole. And put this to the side here. Two. All right, and uh, try and get another screwdriver. I've got six and a half wraps here, six and a half to seven wraps with 26 gauge wire. All right, so once that's done, I want to take my tab, 521 tab, put it right on top, and see what's the resistance. It should come up to about. 0.37 or 0.4 and it's 0.43 so that's what it says 0.43 here all right so we're gonna give it a test fire and then give it a few strums first and then pinch the coil there you go give it a few strums Looks like it's turning out really well. Let me just give it a bit of let's pinch it a little bit. This side as well, just pinch it a little bit. Give it a pinch. And let's fire it again. Well, it looks like it's firing up really nicely. Yeah. Let's give it a bit of strum. Strum it like a guitar. Perfecto mundo. I don't need really long wicks. I'm just gonna get my Japanese cotton right here, cut it into half and use, you know, half for each side. I'm just gonna put it across, sharpen the tip a little bit more so that I can get across right now, pull it. All right, so what I'm gonna have to do is just uh, make sure it's about this length, which should be fine. All right, so I'm just gonna cut it, snip a little bit off here, uh, and uh, I'm gonna push that in. And on this side, I'm gonna just roll up the cotton this side off as well about that length 
And uh, what you want to do now is just push this into this hole here. Get into the hole. Well, you could prime the uh, cotton first if you'd like to, but I thought I'd just push it in first before I prime it. And the last one. There we go. So, as you can see, look at the wick here. I'm going to just lift it off a bit. That's the wick here. As you can see, it goes into the tank. Right. So what I'm going to do now is fill it up. Fill it up with e juice. I'm going to have some mango. All right. This mango is pretty delicious. So if you have a needle nose like that, just push it in. All right. The whole thing goes inside, and just pump it in. Looks like I finished up my bottle of juice. Just nice. Finish up one bottle there, and there you go. It's full. Just plug it back. This rubber grommet here. Push. That's it. It goes back, and probably just see if I can prime it a little bit with whatever's left in my bottle there. All right. So there you go. And just tilt it, tilt it, and your juice becomes saturated. I'm gonna just test fire it and see. All right, there you go, beautiful. All right, so we'll get back top side, we'll vape on it and talk some more. Let's check out the bill. Uh, 0.48 ohms dual coil, as you have seen, I've got my cotton in there. Your cotton don't have to be all that long to run down all the way to the tank. It's, you know, hidden there on top there. So half an inch on both sides, that should be fine, I suppose, or, you know, a little bit more than half of an inch, that, that should be good. So let's give it a vape. I got it at 37 watts here. Let's go. <laughs> pretty good the first time I tried it actually I tested this before this review I had a single coil but I, I must say I prefer dual coil to get better vapor production and the flavor is pretty good too you know the uh, airflow is not too airy and not too restricted as well so it's just nice tilt it a little bit let it saturate the uh, cotton That's 0.48 ohms for you, not bad. Vapor production, very good. And the flavor is nice. You know, what I really like about this tank is the fact that I'm not gonna get any leak out of it as long as it's seated up, but don't tilt it. You can't put this in your pocket and walk around with it in case your, you know, mud drops like that. It's going to leak out from the two holes that we, where you put in your wick, okay, just in case. So it's got to be seated up all the time, just much like a uh, Genesis kind of um, style of wicking, a Genesis tank, right? So you got to seat it up all the time. But other than that, it's nice, it's perfect. Very good. Okay, so the cons that I have with this, all right, excuse the vapor, guys. The, uh, the top cap, I find that it's once condensation or juice, you know, starts getting around the uh, top cap here and gets onto your your O-ring, sorry. Um, you see, if I put it and lift it up, it comes off pretty easily, okay? It just comes off like that. Get what I mean? See? Can't even lift the mod up and it goes out. So, how are you? I might try it myself. I'm gonna get a thicker rubber band and put it around and make sure it, you know, holds onto the cap properly. That's one con for me. I'm gonna take another vape first. It's pretty good. The 
for the flavor that it can produce, not bad. The other con that I have would be, you know, the uh, 510 pin. If I want to remove everything to clean up, I got to remove the whole 510 pin and then your positive pin drops out, the uh, ceramic uh, insulator drops out and all that. So you got to be careful with those small parts, you don't lose them, okay? So unless I don't want to, you know, remove the tank and all that, then fine, I'll just leave the 510 pin inside. Otherwise, you got to take out the 510 pin to break up the whole thing into all its separate pieces, okay? The drip dip color, of course, uh, as I mentioned, it's random. You can't choose what you want, what color you want. It just comes with the box, open up, and then you find out what color you have. Hopefully, you don't get a pink one if you're a guy. But if you like pink, I'm not stopping you, all right? So, but you, the bright side is you can buy this separately, okay? You, it works for other drip tips as well. It's your standard 510 pin, so, you know, and it, it does look pretty nice. Very tasty, very nice. If there's one tip I can share with you that um, I wouldn't run the wick all the way down because I, when I did my first build, the single coil that I tested this, I ran the wick like a little more than halfway down the tank and I started getting dry hits after a while because it takes a long time for the juice to actually soak up your wick and get to the inner coil. So just like I said, half an inch out of each side, cut it, just let it go into the hole and then you what you do is just Genesis style, you know, tilt the thing before you vape and you should be right. So last but not least, where and where can you get one? In Malaysia, a lot of shops are selling it. I do know, but the other day, just for the heck of it, I searched online and I found Vape Empire selling it for 130 ringgit. They have the black version. They have this polished stainless steel version as well. So that's where you can get it. I think in the US <laughs> shouldn't be a problem for you guys. I, I'm sure a lot of places are selling it. Okay, one more vape before we call it a wrap. This is really nice. Seriously, honestly, I think it's pretty good. And one last thing, don't pack the cotton too tight because otherwise juice is not going to be able to go up your cotton and get to your build. Okay, just nice, a little bit of tension and make sure it can go back and forth. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me. Happy holidays, guys, and Christmas getting closer by the day. Until I talk to you again, vape safe and have a nice day. God bless.